Hi. Well, today we're going to go for another walk and we're exploring this Pedragon Grand area still because there are so many hiking trails around here and we're taking one today that's kind of along the river and I believe it goes towards Serta, which is the town. We made a video about it. Um, so let's see how this goes and it's just such a lovely sunny day and just the just perfect day for going along for a nice hike along the river. Lin, 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 where are we going, huh? Where are we going today, huh? We're going for a long walk, Vinny? Come on, you don't like looking up at the camera, do you? Oh well, here we go. I've got my big hat on again <laughs> because, um, you know, the sun's out and it's, uh, it burns my skin a little bit. So it's always a good idea to wear some kind of skin protection. I don't normally wear the chemical um, sunscreens. I try and get some organic uh, stuff or natural ones. But they're kind of pricey here. Everything's pretty pricey uh, in terms of natural things, body care stuff. So I'm just using a hat. That's good enough for now. I also actually use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed on my skin. And that really helps it. Um, but then I have dry skin, so it works well for it. Might not work as well for people with greasy skin or other problems. There's also coconut oil. You know, a lot of these things can give you some kind of protection. So anyway, it's just so lovely here. It really is. And we've been meaning to come for a nice walk and just explore the area, but we've just been so busy and um, we haven't been able to. So let's see what we find today. We were going to bring a picnic, but we've kind of run out of food supplies a little bit because <laughs> uh, we eat organic foods and we're not finding it too easy to find stuff around here. So apart from, you know, what my friend grows, the um, organic veggies and fruits and stuff, but there's other things that we need to get. We actually have to drive quite far towards Coimbra to find it. So never mind. I can hear the, there's like a little waterfall down there or something. I can hear it running. Oh, and there's a, a fresh smell of eucalyptus leaves as well in the air and wildflowers. And this would definitely be an absolutely lovely place for a picnic. You know, I don't think you have to walk too far to get to the river. So, and to find a nice spot to just sit and have a beautiful, relaxing day out. All right, so I guess we're, we've been this route before and we have this in our other video. So here are the different trails and it tells you how many kilometers they are. We're actually headed left towards the Ponte Filipina and then we're going to take a trail from there. So let's see how we find it. Okay, the trail you can see it from here, it's kind of on the, down there. I'm just going to go along there, so, and the river is just below that. I don't know if you can see, but they're just walking down the trail here. And to, to the right in the, in the video, you can see up on the hill, there's some um, signs of a forest fire. You can see all the trees have been burnt. And this is such a huge problem here in Portugal. Every year there are, you know, countless hectares of um, forest fires that just wipe out huge tracts of, of uh, forest, you know, natural habitats and, and uh, commercial plantations and properties, you know, I mean, it just all goes. So it's kind of a sad thing, but 
that's uh, one of the facts of uh, being here, is you get to see that. Sometimes you're driving along and you see, you see a fire, you know, in a forest somewhere and you see all the smoke coming up and it's just uh, pretty scary, really. But anyway, I know they had a big forest fire here in, in the Pedragon Grande area. I believe it was 2017 or sometime around there. And that was a big disaster. I mean, actually a few people died in that. But that's just part of life now, isn't it? <laughs> so let's get on with our trail and enjoy it. Enjoy the nature. And by the way, this is kind of all downhill, so, which means we are going to be, well, not all the trail is going to be downhill, but this first part, which is probably what, about a kilometer or so, this is all downhill, so um, you've got to bear in mind that you're going to have to walk back up the same way, probably, um, uphill, possibly in the heat, so... Always have to remember to take lots of drinking water and, you know, a sun hat or just something if you're extra sensitive to the sun. And take some breaks along the way and not force yourself. At least that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So, anyway. Look at that. That's so beautiful, isn't it? And we're headed down there. We're going to walk across that bridge and go up on that trail. Okay, we've reached the start of the bridge, so, the old bridge, so here we go. And we're going along the bridge and then over to the other side. Well, Bab and Lily are. <laughs> I'm kind of slow because I'm filming. <laughs> and look at that, it's so still, so tranquil. hear the little spring flowing just down there. And here's the other side of the bridge. Okay, so I've reached the other side of the Pont Filipina, which is in our other video um, about Pedragon Grande, and we'll post a link uh, along with this video so that you can look at that. And so we're just, um, last time we pretty much ended here. Um, let's turn this around. And now we're actually going to go on further along this trail. So let's see how that is. It looks beautiful so far. I don't know if the, the whole trail is going to be cobbled like this or not, but this looks pretty old. I don't know if they've repaired it much over the centuries, but it definitely looks, looks old and worn. Here's a stopping point. Just walked uphill from the Pont Filipina. Nice little bench overlooking the river and there's the Pont Filipina down there this is nice I love you know just kind of overhanging plants and things like this this is cute although this looks like it's a little more modern here, yeah, but and there's the old part on the right there. Look at that. Great. I'm kind of hoping to get away from this uh, this area with the bridge here and the main road going over there because there's always a noise of traffic. And we're trying to get away to somewhere where we can't hear any traffic. There's a lookout point. Look at that. Overlooking the river. 
And look at the uh, Pont Filipina down there. Look at that. It looks like just this little narrow strip. Amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous tree. That's a cork oak tree. Very uh, native to Portugal here. Okay, here's this little lookout point where Bab was. I was just standing at the river. And there is the Pont Filipino again. It's a different perspective. <laughs> someone down there on the canoe or I can't quite see but I probably can't see from here I think they've gone around the corner canoe or a little boat or something so it looks like this would be an incredible place for something like that beauty of these places just on a video you know so you end up filming and filming and filming because you're just trying to capture it but you can never quite give the feeling of how it really is. I mean, you really just have to go there. If you can, you know, I mean, if you can't, this is like the next best thing, isn't it? It's better than nothing. So this is the trail that we're on right here, that we're going along on now. We're still trying to get away from that bridge. <laughs> I mean, that, um, the one the cars are going over, that main road. You can still hear it. So it takes quite a while because you're kind of going around it. It takes quite a while to actually get away from it. the victim of a fire actually looks like it doesn't it look at that because these look like they've been burnt too I think I'm not a hundred percent sure but wow I don't know that's kind of strange wouldn't surprise me yeah I think there are signs of that up there as well some of those trees up there scorched Oh goodness, I can hear machinery up there. That's the last thing I want to hear. <laughs> anyway, there's another view of the river. Look at that. So special, isn't it? I wonder what it was like in the old days. Before any traffic, machinery. Look at that. The little thing up there, the wooden scaffold thing, if you can see. Yeah, look up there. Signs of a fire at some point. Some of those trees survived. Look at that. They've got leaves coming back on them. Wow. Quite something. And these poor trees here. Look at that. They got it too. They survived. <laughs> Abundance of flowers, look at these. Gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that. 
Oh. Look where I'm going. <laughs> Asters. Sunflower family. It sounds like we're coming up to a waterfall. A little mini waterfall here on the left. Coming down from those hills. Wow, look at that. comes down to a little windy road so we're going to start heading back because um, oh look at those beautiful because we've kind of walked for quite a while now and we've got to go uphill quite a bit so oh look at that lavender isn't that lovely? And growing wild. And up here there's actually a lovely little picnic area too with tables and seats, benches. So we're just going back up same way this look at that lovely little picnic area it's right along the river as well And there's a sort of tunnel cut into the hill. You can see the bats flying around. Look at them. Amazing. Very special area. That was absolutely stunning. I mean, it really is such a beautiful, magical walk. And so if you're ever in this area and you love nature, then I'd highly recommend it. It's pretty hot now, so my face is all red. Anyway, we're basically walking back now along the same way. You can hear the, that lovely waterfall in the background still. But this is where it gets quiet over here rather I should say natural sounds instead of traffic it goes on and on and you know the trail goes longer but we're headed back because we just wanted to capture some of the best parts of it and I think that was probably it so 
anyway uh, it's a nice warm day <laughs> and see you next time thanks for joining us <laughs>